happy Friday! Welcome back to my sewing room. Today is Friday Sews, where we share a little bit about life and a little bit about sewing. And remember last Friday I showed you this peekaboo quilt? Well, I got a lot of people asking for a tutorial on how to make that. And so I went to Joann's and I found some fabric that I'm going to use for a tutorial coming up soon in the future. I bought this fabric for the front of the quilt. It's a quilting cotton. It's a beautiful aqua blue green background with pink roses. I just love this. It's so pretty. And then for the backing of the quilt, I bought this solid pink. What a pretty pink that is. But see where the window is, that's going to be this print. And then where these fold in, it's going to be solid pink. So it's going to kind of make these look like pink flowers going to be really pretty and then I bought this um, plain white flannel to be the inside um, for the inside batting part of this quilt so as soon as I can get all these cut up and ready to make the tutorial I'll be posting that video as soon as I can remember a few weeks ago I showed you a tutorial on how to make these fabric memory games and I was looking for ideas of how to package these to for my grandson to be able to keep them in so he doesn't lose them. And um, let's see. And Tamara, one of my subscribers, suggested she was going to make a drawstring bag. And one of my other subscribers, Yanni Jean, suggested that I get an old computer plastic disc, disc box and sterilize it and paint it and label that. And that would be a cute little container to hold to hold these in. But I haven't been able to find that. So I decided to do a drawstring bag like Tamara. And I wanted, but I wanted my bottom to be flat with like a square bottom so it will easily hold these like this. So I designed this little bag. It's like fully lined and it's got a great little closure, drawstring closure, and it sits up like that. So that tutorial will be posted this weekend on how to make these adorable little drawstring bags. So cute. So stay tuned for that. I forgot to mention a few weeks ago that I got a sweet Christmas card from Trish from Pinky's Farm. She has a YouTube sewing channel called Pinky's Farm. And if you haven't subscribed to her already, you need to check out her channel. I'll, I'll, I'll put a picture of her right here and I'll put a link in my description box. She is so fun and makes beautiful clothing and has a beautiful farm with all kinds of animals. And it's really fun to watch her. And she sent me in the Christmas card this adorable little bird applique isn't that sweet it's adorable i gotta find something special to put this on i just love it i like that it's a little bird and i'm robin the, a little robin bird <laughs> so that's very sweet thank you trish anyway check out her channel if you haven't already and i just thank you guys so much for joining me today i just love these friday shows and getting to to talk to you guys and watch the other Friday Sews channels. If you if you didn't know that, if you put in the search bar, just put hashtag Friday Sews and it'll bring up all the other sewing YouTube channels that do Friday, that does Friday Sews. And you can see all the things that they're making too. It's really fun to see what everyone else is doing. So check that out. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.